Hi, if you use Godot Engine with timelapse, combined with shaders on tiles, you probably already noticed a big performance drop. This can be solved by splitting the tilemap in multiple tilemaps and using Visibility Notifier 2D. The goal is to only show the tilemaps, which are on screen, utilizing the signals of the Notifier node. For map generation via code, I will show you a very simple base setup. Starting with a separate scene for the tilemap, and the visibility notifier 2D. The notifier signal screen entered and screen exited are connected to the tilemap node. The tilemap node itself will be set to visible false. And in the tilemap code we switch the visibility based on the signals. For ease of use we define a member variable chunk rect and add the node to the group map. I will show you later why we do this. Now let's have a look on the map generation. For this simple example I assume a square tilemap. At first, define the variables for the tile map scene, the total map size, and the target chunk size. Next, the chunks need to be instanced by a double loop, and the chunk rec member variable of the tile map code will be updated. Now it's time to load the tile map chunks with another double loop. To keep it in one step, it's nested into the previous double loop for the chunk creation. Very important to load the correct tile position we need to add the chunk rack position to X and Y. And finally, we add the tile map chunk to the scene tree via add child. And now we are already done. But as with most performance optimizations, this comes with some hurdles. The main issue now is that we lost the ease of use of one big tile map. So in case you need to interact with the tile map cells or read the tile ID for certain reasons, it's now necessary to find the correct tilemap chunk. To get you started, here is a simple method. Utilizing the chunk rec member variable and the before defined group. The function expects a vector 2 cell position and then scans all tilemap chunks via the method has point of the chunk rec and returns the correct tilemap. That's it and remember, only use performance optimizations if really needed. Bye.